With the new Steam Deck coming out, a lot of people are wondering if you can install Windows on an external SSD or hard drive. I don't know why you would want to use a hard drive for that, but today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows on an external SSD, hard drive, SSD enclosure, any of that. Really quick, really easy. For this, we're using a Samsung T7 500 GB uh, external SSD. This thing is super fast, super reliable. I think I got it for like $70 from Best Buy. If you're looking for something that's you know nice and slim and easy to carry, it actually looks pretty good. This is this is probably a good one to get. If you have like random NVMe storage laying around, like you have like some 500 gigabyte and M.2 NVMe that you pulled out of a random build, you can use a external SSD enclosure like this one. All you have to do is pull it out, and uh, there's you can put any kind of SSD in here. Obviously, this one has kind of a smaller uh, 2230 form factor, so it doesn't fit quite right, but you can use an external drive like this. Over USB, you're gonna max out at whatever the USB bus can do. So if you have like a USB type C on your motherboard or on your Steam Deck, it will max out at whatever speed that is. Like this SSD is like 3,500 megabytes per second. It's super fast, but I doubt that the Steam Deck's uh, built-in type C is gonna be that fast or even the USB type C that's on your motherboard is going to be that fast unless it's like Thunderbolt. So keep that in mind when buying a uh, external SSD. You don't need it to be super fast. It just has to be faster than whatever USB bus that you're using it on. Some of you watching might think, hey, I've seen this video before, but some people in the comments pointed out things that I could have done better. And I feel like it's more efficient for me to just repost the video as a more efficient process. Sometimes I do things that are a little bit uh, out of order or probably could be more efficient, but it's not wrong information. It's just there's more steps involved than you really need. So normally when you install Windows 10 on a computer, you boot a flash drive, you plug it in, and then when you start up the PC, it will boot off of that flash drive that then let you install Windows onto your hard drive, SSD, whatever inside of your PC. Now if you try doing that and selecting, say, this external drive, it won't work. So the first thing that you're gonna need as far as software goes is the Windows 10 media creation tool. Just uh, go to windows.com. I'm gonna have the, all the links that we use in the video description. So we're just gonna go ahead and download the creation tool now and save file. Then once that's done downloading, we're gonna go ahead and run it. Just hit yes and it will get a few things ready. Go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and get a few things more ready. <laughs> you couldn't have gotten all this stuff ready the first time? Well, it's getting Windows 10 ready. Maybe you should go ahead and get subscribed to CoilWine. So when it asks you what you want to do, just go ahead and click Create Installation Media, and hit Next, and then don't worry about any of this. We're just going to use recommended options. Hit Next, and then click on ISO file, and then hit Next. Tell it where you want to save that ISO file at, so we're just going to save it in Documents. After about 20 minutes or so, it should be done downloading so that we can install it on our external drive. So while this is downloading Windows 10, let's just go ahead and install the Win to USB tool. So go ahead and go to the easyufei.com link that'll be in the description and download the Win to USB free.exe tool. So just hit save file and then up at the top, go ahead and run that. Then it'll go through all the steps to install the Win to USB free tool. So after that comes up saying burn the ISO file to a DVD, we're just gonna go ahead and hit finish. Then we're gonna open the Haslio Win to USB tool. And then we're going to select the image file from documents. We're just gonna select the Windows image file, hit open. And then for this to be free, you have to use Windows 10 Home. So just Windows 10, hit next. And then we're gonna select from the drop down our Samsung T7. And then we're going to format it in GPT for UEFI. Then just hit yes. Then it will format the drive so that anything that's on there will be deleted. So make sure that you have everything off of there that is important to you. So it's gonna go ahead and format it. And then it will show you your uh, partitions if you want to make any. From here, I don't really click on anything. I don't mess with anything here. I just go ahead and hit next. 
Once that's done installing, it'll say installed successfully and then it'll say, please change BIOS to boot from the destination disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to boot off of that external SSD. Let's just go ahead and exit. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and restart the computer and boot into the BIOS real quick. So once you're in the BIOS, obviously your BIOS may differ from this. This is the Gigabyte BIOS, but we're just gonna go ahead and find the boot options priority. And then on number one, just hit enter and then go down to our Windows Boot Manager, in parentheses, Samsung SSD. So just hit enter on that, F10 and save. From there, it might restart one or two times to uh, set up all the devices, but after that, it should just prompt you to uh, set up Windows like you normally would if you were just installing this as a fresh copy of Windows on a normal drive. So it should be pretty self-explanatory. So because we skipped over the part of Windows installation that has you enter in the activation key, once we're in Windows now, you're gonna go ahead and want to activate your copy of Windows to keep yourself from getting that little pop-up that says this version of Windows is not active. Now, some people can ignore that forever, but if you wanna go ahead and activate your copy of Windows, just go down to the search bar and type activate and then click activation settings. And then where it says change product key, is where you would enter in your product key. Now, I don't have a product key to put there for this, but that is just how you do it. And from here, it acts like a normal computer that is just booted off of a USB SSD. If we open Task Manager, you can see under the Performance tab that we have a C drive off of the Samsung SSD. So there's no tomfoolery here. This is actually running off of our USB SSD. So because I know someone's gonna ask in the comments, how does it game? Here I've got Cyberpunk running off of the external drive. It works just fine. Even when driving around and loading in a whole bunch of uh, texture assets, it's fine. I mean, obviously this is a lower end computer that we're running on, but it works good. If we check disk usage, it's not even that high. It's, it hangs out below 10%. So. Playing games on it while having it booted off of it is nothing you should be worried about. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave us a like. Get subscribed for future random tech help. We do all kinds of dumb stuff on this channel. Leave me a comment on what you plan on using your external drive for. And like always, I'll see you next time.